right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, and double honors as always to the apostles, the elders, and great millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Coming back to the Most High, made by the sacrifice, or through the sacrifice made by our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahawashai, all right, our mediator and high priest, and way back to the Heavenly Father, starting under Yahawashai with the 144,000. After that, you have the large multitude, all right, and in these latter days, the remnant have been called, you know, to repent and ultimately come back to the Heavenly Father through the preaching of the word through the men of the Lord, which received the Spirit, okay. From on high, man. All right, and uh, we're we're walking in dangerous territories as we follow Yahweh Shai through the straight gate. All right, because that's a uh, mark of the men of the Lord. They follow the Lamb whithersoever He goeth. All right, and when you uh, read of Yahweh Shai's baptism, all right, He didn't bow. Okay, He He remained obedient to His calling. Okay, and uh, ultimately it came with ridicule, hate. You know, and ultimately we 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 know and understand what he went through. Now, before, you know, um, he eventually died and then went back. You know, uh, uh, on the right hand side of the heavenly Father, he threw up a prayer for us. Okay, um, and he's praying for us right now. All right, and we're gonna get into John the seventeenth chapter, where Yahweh Shai prayed directly for the men of the Lord and the believers on their message. Okay, because. It's not going to be easy as we go through the straight gate, all right? This is an anti-Messiah society, and here it is. We stand for the Messiah. Even in Israel, you, you can see an anti-Messiah rebellion, all right, uh, formulating with these uh, different doctrines and the diminishing of the importance of Yahweh Shai and all of these various different things. But then even in the world, this world is becoming more and more perverse, wicked, all right? And we have been sent in these latter days to what? Witness, all right? And what are we witness to? The truth, all right? And we're giving witness ultimately uh, through the value, value of the book to tell the truth about this devil, to tell the truth about who we are, okay? And to ultimately offer up a sacrifice, all right? Uh, which hopefully will be acceptable enough for us to be brought back to the most high through your Shai, man. Go ahead. Just a quick one. This is Matthew 24 and 14. In this gospel of the kingdom right. shall be preached in all the world for a witness right. unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Yep, you got it. Just wanted to go into that quick point how the remnant was going to be making themselves a sacrifice. Right. But once this particular gospel, which consists of the kingdom of heaven, all right, and also the destruction of mystery Babylon, right. All right. When all the when this word that we are declaring is coming out, it says, Then shall the end come. Right. And it also goes to it being preached on the four corners of the earth. Right. This is the time right. where we're seeing that right now. Right, right. That's coming into full fruition. And this is when Yahweh Shai threw up that prayer in John the 17th chapter. Right. He had prayed that that church wouldn't, when you go into it, it's so many points. But one of the points that stands out is the fact that we weren't going to be given unto this world. Right. You know, and those happen to be those that later on, they were going to be covered. Right. And they were going to be given the ability to preach and be those with my testators to bear that witness of Yahweh Shai as we're doing right now. That's right. That's right, it. and it puts you, 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 and ultimately, preaching what we preach is getting ready to uh, really put you in a very, very, uh, uh, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. Yes. It's going to put you in a very, very awkward, okay, yet beautiful position, all right? Yeah, I wish I had to go through what he had to go through. Now, it's our turn. Yes. He offered up his sacrifice, but there's also a sacrifice that the elect have to offer up, all right, in order for the story can be complete. All right, now Yahweh Shai completed the sacrifice as far as the, 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 the lamb, but the Lord still requires a sacrifice. Now we're the sacrifice, and we're, we're getting ready to have to bow down to the slaughter on a whole nother level. So, you want to get something? No, it's all good. No, get it, get it, and then we'll jump to John 17. Okay, okay. So, we're going to need this prayer, and hopefully as we get into it, it comforts you that Yahweh Shai prayed for this day, because he knew what we would be facing. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 44. I'm going to start at 10. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Mm -hmm. Which is a position that we're, like, like literally we're in right now. The enemy's getting ready to come like a flood. They want to put the waters in you. Their whole agenda, this beast system, this NWO, right. is completely at variance and set up for your demise. Right. This is verse 11 going into what you said. 
thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. Right. That's that sacrifice. Right. You know, sheep appointed for meat. And even uh, Ezekiel talked about it, had, had, had going into the examples of how we pass through uh, under the rod. Right. You know, that's a clear example for those choice sheep, those those remaining sheep that were the that were the selected ones. Right. And they would douse them with that with that paint to right. mark them, right. and they would pass under that rod. Mm -hmm. And ironically, that's the same thing that happened um, in the time of the Exodus, right. when the Red Sea was split. Moses lifted up that staff, and we all passed under it. But going to the example of pointing for meat, that's the sacrifice. Right. Like our Lord Yahweh Shai did it, we're gonna have to follow suit with the sacrifice as well, man. Right, right. So I right. want to go into that. You know? That's right. So let's uh, go ahead and jump into John the seventeenth chapter. Come, come. And hopefully you all are edified, because that's the purpose of us doing these videos to comfort the elect. Because uh, if you come into what we're going through with a double mind and you're not fully rooted, you're gonna submit, and for what I don't know, because <laughs> you're still gonna lose. Mm -hmm. All right. So you may as well go through the straight gate and prepare yourself. To to a hey, you have to have the mindset of unto death. Yeah. I'm a, uh, this this covenant this this I'm 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 with it unto death, man. Go ahead, bro. This is John 17 and one. These words spake Yahweh Shai, and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Right, the hour is come. <laughs> All right. Now this is before he was crucified, right? Yeah, this is before he went to right. the garden. Right. This is before he went to the garden of Gethsemane. So he was of a heavy spirit. All right, but he did what, what, what any good friend would do before yeah. he went through that. Because he prayed for his brothers, man. Okay? Because the whole time he was on the earth, those three years, he was obedient to his call. He didn't go left. He didn't go right. He went straight. That's right. The straight gate, man. Go ahead. It says, these words speak Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Mm-hmm. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, right. that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. To as many as thou hast given him. Eternal life ain't for everybody. Ain't for every nation. Okay? It's for the Israelites. That's right. All right? But in order for us to get that glory, all right, and, and receive the Holy Spirit for this story to be forwarded, Yahweh Shai had to do what he did. He had to offer up himself. He had to come through the loins and lineage of David, through Joseph and Mary, and a sexual union he was the seed of david directly through that line okay offer himself as a sacrifice for 40 days and 40 nights he broke bread with brothers and sisters and then what he ascended back on high for the purpose of what sending us down the holy spirit God. without him doing that we there would be no way for us to get the holy spirit that's right so th th what he did is very very important to everything that we have under the most high god yahweh go ahead God, if I may, uh, mm -hmm. just, just a quick point to something that I noticed. When you read about Yahweh Shai, when he prays to his father, it's like he's speaking on himself third person. Right. You know, and, and the thought that I had with that, because he's saying him, him, right. him, knowing right. it was himself. Right. But it shows a level of humility that right. he had. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Just something that, you know, a quick notion, because something that we can all take within our walk. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? To even put ourselves to the side. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. what Yahweh Shai did that a lot. Didn't John do that as well? John, that's the spirit. I, I thought about it, but I didn't want to do, you no, know. You can, you can go into it. The, the, the apostle John was in that same spirit. Even when you read the book of John, he'll talk about the disciple that Yahweh Shai loved. Even in the beginning of it, when, when you had those two disciples, that was with John the Baptist. It was Andrew, but John was the second one. Right. You know, but he he doesn't say it. He right. says Andrew and the other disciple. Right, right, right. right. You know, and he, that's, that's something that we could all take pretty much to put ourselves to the side mm -hmm. for the main objective's sake. Right. He made himself with no reputation. That's, that's, woo, that's dope. good point. Just a so, quick look. You know, kind of, kind of, let's, let's go. Where we at? This is uh, uh, the verse 2. John 17 and 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh... That he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Right. And for this very purpose, he, he's worthy of worship and praise. All right. Because the, he has power over all flesh. All right. When you read Sirach, the 24th chapter, all nations belong to the most high through Yahweh Shah. But which nation is the chosen? The nation of Israel, man. That's right. So, hey, this, this whole thing of do we worship and all of that. Hey, man, uh, you guys are playing with fire, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast sent. He says, this is, he, he's literally giving you the whole detail of eternal life. Right, right. 
You know, this is eternal life. It makes me think about um uh, what Jeremiah nine and twenty three. Matter of fact, it's school precept. The simple fact that the best honor that we can have is the fact that we know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, we know Yahweh and Yahweh Shai because He said right here, this is eternal life. Right. You know, so we've been given the scoop and the breakdown. You know, the formula, so to speak, of how to attain life eternal, man. Right. To be those gods. Right. 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 This is um Jeremiah chapter nine. Camera good. Okay. Here we go. This is Jeremiah 9 and 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, knoweth me right. that I am Yahweh which exerciseth love and kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. Mm. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Right. And Yahweh Shai said, This is eternal life. That a man knows, no, pretty much knows the father and the son. Right, no, understood. Because that was the power in what That's the right. people were declaring when they said, when you're saying this is the son of the most high, you understand that, oh, this is he who was prophesied to come oh, man. through the loins and lineage. This is the son of the most high. Yeah. But he's here in the flesh. That's right. How would he come in the flesh? Through the loins of Mary and Joseph, or That's Joseph right. and Mary, rather. That's right. So when as these followers saw him, those who acknowledged and didn't need all of the miracles because the miracles were a sign but the the, the the very fact all right that it was said to happen and he was there was enough for some to be oh wow this is him then once they saw the works they was like this you know and what did that give them uh, uh access to to be one of the sons of god that's in john i believe what did it say uh those First who john. yep yep those who believe on him uh ultimately he gave them uh oh, john, power yeah, john, john, to be the son of the most high sons of the most high man through That's belief right. all right i'm gonna get it for you or you can get it real quick yeah I'm sure see and that's what it's all about because the heavenly father the most high gave authority and dominion to his son that's right okay go ahead this is the book of john chapter 1 verse 11 and he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Right. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Received him as what? The son of the most high. Meaning they acknowledge, oh, you know, his rank, his authority. That's what it's all about. Because we can't go straight to the most high. Even from the beginning, it was the Alahayim. Who's the head of the Alahayim? Who's the head of the church? That's right. Yahweh Shai. That's how we get glory. That's the only way we get glory. It's through the Most High, through Yahweh Shai. That's the order. That's right. And as many as that acknowledge that, all right, as you can see, he's given them power to become one of the sons of God. And now we can offer up a sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. To be accepted. Go ahead. Gone. Even to them that believe on his name. And that word name is, is more than just the utterance of the name. Now, that's the key point. That's right. There's a there's a rank there's a reputation that lies behind that whole thing. Right. right, right. You know what I'm saying? If you believe he is, you know, you believe the name of Yahweh Shai and that he is comes after that. It's just like, yeah. that's power right there, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because now you're believing on an entity that's existence is way beyond what what anybody can see. Right. 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 You know, and we and that's part of our heritage too. That's bro. it. That's it. You know. That's it. Bro. That's it on that precept. That was. Uh, this is the book of John, chapter 17, verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth, and I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. He did the work. Here's this thing we talk about doing the work. Yahweh Shah is the perfect example of doing the work. That's it. Okay, and he always gave my father, just as you would, you would like your son to do. You don't want your son going around everybody talking shit. My daddy, they don't do that. You want your son to big you up. Well, that's all Yahweh Shah did. That's right. He, he constantly gave credit to the father the only reason i'm willing to do this is through the father well what how do we do it through the father through him <laughs> you see and you got to acknowledge that go ahead verse five and now O father glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which i had with thee before the world was before the world was there, there, there was a relationship when the most high breathed yahweh shai into existence that's his son. His wisdom is his son. Shit. The embodiment of everything he's about is fulfilled in his son, just as you would like. You have a son, all right? Now, we're not in a position, but if you had anything, he would be, you know, you would build him up, 
all right, with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you, uh, uh, through, the, through the Most High, of course, and then you will prepare him to inherit whatever land or whatever thing you had. That's right. Well, the Most High did that with the heavens and the earth. It's all for Yahweh Shai. Hmm. You see? Read that again, Baba Kashan. Oh, absolutely. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, mm -hmm. with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And this is also our prayer. See, Yahweh Shai went through all of that so he can get back to the right-hand side and act as intercessor for us here on the earth as we go through our walk. He wanted to be glorified. He, he didn't want to stay in that body. Just like we don't want to stay in these bodies. He said, I did my job. All right, you told, this is what you told me to do. This is what was written for me to do. And I did it. I was obedient unto it. I didn't waver this time as Adam did. I didn't waver this time as Solomon did. I was faithful, right? So now give me that glory that I had with you from the beginning. That's what he's asking. Because when you get, let's get Proverbs 8 real quick. Oh, okay. And just get to the point like around 20. Because this father-son relationship between the Most High and Yahweh Shai is all throughout the book. All right? But you have to have a spiritual mind to receive. You have to get that uh, uh, hidden manna. All right? Just like in the wilderness, we got manna from heaven. And well, now in this wilderness, we have hidden manna. It's not so much seen, but by those who it's for. And Yahweh Shai is literally throughout the whole book. All right? Go ahead. This is Proverbs 9 and 22. 8. I'm yeah, 8 and 22. Correct. Right. It says, Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his way. Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his way. This is speaking of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay? And ironically, who, was, who, who, who wrote, wrote this? this? Solomon wrote this. All right? <laughs> Read it again. It said, Proverbs 8 and 22. Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his way right. before his works of old. Mm -hmm. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Right, he's the alpha, because the most high has no beginning. He's the alpha and the omega, mm -hmm. all right, of everything we know. He, he started it, okay? Air, water, all right? But even before all of that was, was actually laid out on the earth, the most high's plan, he said, I'm going to do it through my son. Go ahead. Come. Verse 23. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Mm -hmm. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. Mm -hmm. When there was no fountains abounding with water, mm -hmm. before the mountains were even settled, right. before the hills was I brought forth. Right. While I was like him, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. Right. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. I was there. Go ahead. <laughs> when he set up the when he set up the compass upon the face of the depth, uh -huh. when he established the clouds above, right. when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandments, right. when he appointed the foundations of the earth, when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Go ahead. Then I was by him. I was by him. Go ahead. As one brought up with him. As one brought up with him, just like a father. Brings his son up. Okay, the Most High did this on a whole nother level. <laughs> the Most High relationship with his son is on a far Ooh. faster and bigger level than you taking your My son goodness. to the baseball game and throwing to, to the little park and throwing him the ball, teaching him how to. No, he taught Yahweh Shai how, how to uh, earth, That's right. you know, existence. That's right. This is how air, but now. Real, you, you got something? It's just, a point? Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's why he's called the only begotten son. Only begotten son, right. Like, he was the first spirit created, and right. he, he is the firstborn of many brethren. Right. But when you go into only begotten, it's much deeper than just being the physical firstborn. Right. Because Isaac was Abraham's only begotten son. Right. And Ishmael was older. Right. But that's that chosen son that's going right. to be that vessel in that air, and like the you one. said, receive that heirloom. Right. You know, when it says only begotten, this is right. all what it's alluding to. Right, because it's Isaac was called uh, Abraham's only begotten. Yep. But clearly, Abraham had other children. That's and when right. you look up that word only begotten, it's basically meaning that one. Yeah. The one the, 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 the one where the glory is going to come through. That's right. The That's one right. who the, the, the father is going to give everything. And the covenant was not made with Ishmael, but it was made with Isaac. That's right. Okay? So... 
Uh, it's, that's pretty much it on that, right? Uh, there was a little more okay. to the precept right okay. here, and it, it was it. Okay. This is Proverbs eight and thirty. Then I was by him, as one brought up with him, right. and I was his daily delight. I was his daily delight, like your son. Every, you know, go ahead. Rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing always before him on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, it's going in before, even before what we see today is right. created. This is the right. this is the beginning. Right. That's why scriptures say wisdom is the principal thing as well. Right. Yeah, I was shy is that wisdom principle means the first, right. the preeminent. Right. You know. Right. Now read that in John seventeen again. I want to get this precept. Go ahead. This is John seventeen and five. It says, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had before the world was. Before the world was. Now, this is Ephesians chapter 1, okay, and 3. Blessed be uh, God the Father and our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he hath chosen us in him mm. before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world. And that goes to Genesis 1 and 1. Okay? In the beginning, the Allahayim created the heaven and the earth. You have your phone? If not, I can do it here. Yeah, I got it right here. Just look up that word Allahayim in the beginning. See? So just as Yahawashai was with the Father, then you had the first fruits. And that whole narrative is what the Bible is about. And how the, the head of the church came onto the earth and fell. The first fruits fell. All right. But eventually, uh, uh, through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, we have a chance to now come on earth and rule without this flesh. To rule with the heavenly body. That's what Yahweh Shai wanted. He, you know, he had to go. The, the Most High made it to where in order for him to get that glory on earth, he had to go through that straight gate and offer himself up as a sacrifice. Now, it's our turn. <laughs> he did his job. <laughs> Go ahead. Kind of now, get, read, read it first. Read, okay. read it. Yep. This is the book of Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the Most High created the heaven and the earth. Right. It says the Most High. It says God. Right. Read, like read it. Yeah, yeah. Read, read it. Read it right. Read it right. God, okay. In the beginning, the Allahayim created the heaven or and the earth. God, or God. Or God. Okay. In, the, in, the, in the English, it's going to say God. Yeah. Right now, it is the most high, but how did he do it? Just as any king who sits on the throne, how does he get his point across? Through he sends his son or particular servants. Well, the most high is the king, mm -hmm. that's right. So, through the Allah, all of this was created through the wisdom of the most high given right. directly to his son. That's right, okay. And the word Allahayim in the Hebrew, when you go look at the definition, it says rulers and judges. Rulers and judges. That's what's being raised back up if That's you right. believe the Bible. That's right. Uh, uh, Isaiah 1 tells you what? I will raise up thy, thy judges That's and right. counselors as, as at the beginning. That's right. You see? That's what's happening. That body that was with uh, 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 Yahweh Shai in the beginning, laying the foundations of the earth through the wisdom of the Most High. Okay, it's now being raised back up. Okay, because we had to come onto the earth and fall away. We fell away many times, but the greatest falling away led into this time where we have now awakened. All right, and Yahweh Shah is praying for us in this chapter so we can get right back to where he is. That's right. So let's go back to John 17. This is John 17 and 6. I have possessed thy name, Salaki. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gave me out of the world. Mm -hmm. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. Right, thine they were, the first fruits. When you read about the 144,000, okay, that is the first fruits of Yahweh, all right, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the church. And they are, ex their rank, when you read up that word, uh, uh, first fruits, their rank and position amongst the body is, 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 is under directly under Yahweh Shai with what? David, Peter being ahead. Right. Okay, you have that church, the 144,000. So read that part again. John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Woo! Nine. He opened himself up to That's them. Right. And right. he did that 
in a physical sense when he was there directly with the disciples. What was he doing? He was opening up their understanding right. to the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. That's right. And certain things they were kind of like, you know, they didn't get at, the, at a time that he would open up their understanding. Well, now they're back. The holy apostles and prophets are back, which the 12 were just a symbolism of what? The 12,000 out of each tribe. All right. But there is an actual 12 that are going to be at the head within the, the order of things directly under Yahweh shot. That's uh, in uh, uh, Revelation 21. It talks about the uh, at the gates is the name of the 12 tribes of Israel. And then after that, it's the name of the uh, 12 apostles of the Lamb. Yep. So they're going to get their orders directly back. And we know who's the head of that church, King David. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the Rock. You got something? No. Nah. Yes. Right, so he manifested his name unto them. He opened up the, the, the Most High's intent, who he really was, how it was from the beginning. Why do you think the book of Hebrews was written? When Yahweh opened himself up unto Paul, he showed him a lot of, of, of those things, man. So he had a, you know, as he's breaking down, this is the high priest. So when it said, I manifested thy name, okay, yeah, it's Yahweh, but ultimately it's his reputation, what he intends to do, how he intends to use Yahweh Shai, their position and rank and order. So it's heavy. Go ahead. It's a precept. This is the account of Exodus when the angel was with us that passed by us when he was on the Red Sea. That was Yahweh Shai that was with us, right? Right. Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way right. and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Right? And then it says, Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Ooh. You know, now that angel right there is talking about Yahweh Shai, but we can say that that was ultimately, like, to a degree fulfilled when he was with us. You know, he really, like the Zaquan went into, to express the intent of the Heavenly Father to us. Right. That's tied to his name being with him right there. He literally showed us the secrets. Right. Those intentions, right? You know what I'm saying? That red light. Hey, you said, you yeah. said, man. and that's what we're receiving now. That's, that's right. what we've received. So it's far above learning how to shoot a basketball. The knowledge we've received is the knowledge that's going to lead to eternal life. So that's the right. way that we get it is worthy of all praise mm -hmm. and worship, which is a high level of reverence under the Most High God Yahweh. Because He didn't just send us down anything; He sent us a victory. In a place where there was no way, in a wilderness where there's no way, he sent us the victory, man. So he called the law, you Go ahead. John 9 and 27. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are nine. me. I keep saying nine. nine 20, just, sorry, hold on. John 17. This is John 17 and 7. Okay, John 17. Yeah, forgive me. No, I'm trying to find where we are. Okay. It says, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. They know. They don't have doubt. That's why when you look at the disciples' deaths, okay, they were willing to take those deaths. There was nothing you could tell them to move them, okay? They, they, they were obedient. They, they saw, first of all, they saw the miracles. That's right. And then you got to imagine what he opened up to them, things that probably ain't written, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, j just imagine what you know, him being right there. Right. Now, imagine what we get now. You know what I'm saying? What we get now while he's on the right-hand side is even like, whoa. So, hey, man, man. They, were, they, they were obedient because they believed. Their faith was 100%. Right. Wasn't lacking a doubt in anything. Go ahead. Gone, verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast gave us me. Mm. And they have received them, and I have known surely that I came that I came out from thee. Right. And they have believed that thou didst send me. See, they believed. All right. This is a relationship that goes all the way back to the beginning. That's right. Okay. Yahweh and Alahayim is just that now they're slaves on the earth because of disobedience. So now the, the Lord is. This is our way back to that glory. That's it's a right. beautiful story, man. That's right. If you really understand this Bible and what it's all about, man, you should be in awe. Yeah. And that's a really crucial commandment that the Lord had given us is to hear his son. Even in Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, it goes into the prophet that was going to come that was like another Moses. Right. And it says, him shall ye hearken unto. Right. 
You know, and then what happened? You know that that, that was that was given unto the son. Right. And they was back when he was baptized in the Jordan. Right. When they went up on that mountain, they right. said, "This is my beloved son, whom I will please right. hear ye him." Hear ye him. And the point re reason I wanted to go into this is the fact that we are fulfilling a very crucial commandment. You know, and those first fruits were going to be the first ones to really adhere because those are those spirits that was created with it from the beginning. You know, but that's a crucial commandment, and that's also showing that we're fulfilling the law as well. That's right. Bro. Just as Yahweh Shai did. Right. That's right. This is John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them, and I pray not for the world. I pray for them. See that? He's praying for his disciples. Now, we know it was 12 when he was there, and really there was about 200 and something more when you read the whole story going into the Acts and everything. There were, there were more disciples, all right? But that he's praying for the 144,000 at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. okay? Because get Revelation 14 and 4. Yeah. That's what, that, that's ultimately, that's his ride or die body given unto him by the Most High from the foundation of the earth, man. So when you look at your brother, you're not just looking at a mortal, and you're looking at him in the flesh, he may be through, but the spirit in him could be very well one of those very spirits that were with Yahweh Shai from the beginning. This is what we're fighting for. That's, right. That's what he said. I've done my job. Can I now get the glory that I had with you from the beginning so I can help my brothers out? Go ahead. It's Revelation 14 and 4. These are they which were not the follower. Right. But they are virgins. They are virgins. They're spotless. They're innocent. It doesn't mean they never had sex. Okay? If, if being an actual virgin was a qualification to be one of the uh, preachers. It would be three preachers. Yeah, We'd be through as a nation. It's not what that's talking about. Jesus is the word of vocab alone. Right. It's talking about a spiritual thing. That's why Paul said, I have espoused you unto one husband to present you as a chaste virgin. That's right. Okay. Even Paul went, even Paul gave advice to people that were in marriages and have that, that were married right, pretty right, much. Right. That were in the church. Showed you that, that were in the church. Clearly showed you it's not a physical thing. You know, it's, it's, it's spiritual like this Quran is going into. Right. You know. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which followed the lamb whithersoever he goeth. They follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. Okay, go ahead. These were redeemed from among men. These were redeemed from among men. Okay, chosen out of all Israel, these are the leaders. And after that, as we keep reading, there's a large multitude who are going to believe on that word. Now, some of these believers and people who hold these lots, not all of them are on the earth at this time. But as uh, the book of Ephesians said, he's going to gather in together in one, okay, uh, uh, all things that are in heaven and on earth. And everybody's going to be restored to their original rank and order. That is the church of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You have the word, you have those who are given the word, and you have those who believe, That's right. That's all right, on the Most High through his word, through the one sent to teach his word. That is the church. That's what's being established here in these latter days, and a remnant who the Lord will start everything all over through those first fruits. And this time, we're not going to have to come on earth and rule with flesh. We won't have this this uh, tassel, this this you know uh, um, I don't know what to call it a hold hold back you know a uh, hold up. The flesh really kept us from the glory, but this time we're gonna have perfect bodies. <laughs> Man, that's right. <laughs> to, to 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 be uh, lights on the earth, man. It's to set up righteousness, man. Man, it says in Hebrews twelve. 23 it goes into the church of the firstborn right there you go you know the, the, those first fruits right right and i was even thinking of born it also right. means to bear right you know what i'm right. saying those right. are being born up those, those that like you have to do with the first fruits the second where is it that? that's in a hebrews 12 and 23 let me get that for you hebrews chapter 12 and 23 started like 22 22 it says but ye are come unto mount sion and unto the city of the living god the heavenly Jerusalem, okay, and to an innumerable company of angels, okay, and who's the head of that tabernacle right. in the heavens? Because we have earthly Jerusalem where the temple laid, all right, but don't you know in the heaven, okay, there's a tabernacle already before the tabernacle was built uh, mm -hmm. by uh, Solomon using David's blueprint, 
That's right. In uh, uh, Sion, which is Jerusalem. So, let me read this again. Man. 22, uh, Hebrews 12 and 22. But ye are come unto the Mount Sion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of, of angels. Part of a very crucial council, man. Right. Yeah. To the general assembly of the church of the firstborn. Church of the firstborn. Right. These are the first fruits, starting with Yahweh Shai. Right. And even just, just if, if I may, really quit it. Really. When you go into the law, because you actually had a physical law that, you know, the, first that first, the yeah. firstborn son that you had to bear, there had to be a dowry that had to be paid to the right. priesthood. You know what I'm saying? That was the law that was given when you had a firstborn child. Mm -hmm. And then when you read it later on, it goes into how two of the three was transferred throughout tribes, making Levi, the, you know, yep. make, making them, you know, the, the, the firstborn of the Heavenly Father. You know, but that's where the priesthood came, the duties of the tabernacle and such. So when Paul is using this here as an example, because it all started in the heavens before the earth, we're talking about the order of Melchizedek. Starting with Yahweh Shai and those elect souls, we're all that part of that innumerable company. The Lord's well aware of that number, but he calls this the church of the firstborn. That's right. You know, this is the firstborn. You know, this is through the spirit, the law that was given unto the priest, that tribe that was joined unto the Lord. It's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Just that, you know. No, nah, it says, uh, to the general assembly in the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the just men made perfect. Man, written in heaven. Malachi, the third chapter says, those that spoke often one to another, then a book was opened in their names, pretty much. Yeah. They had thought upon the name of the Lord. It's a very important duty that we have, right. man. Exalt the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He already said this is life eternal. Right. You know, yep. it's going back to that order. That's it, brother. <laughs> Let's go back to John 17. Come. Oh, no, finish that in Revelation 14. This is Revelation 14 and 4. These are they which were not the father of woman, for they are virgins. These are they which followed the lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. Right, go ahead. In their mouth was found no guile. In their mouth. Was found no gal because they're directly joined to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. Their words are a hundred percent. That's what makes the hundred percent truth the hundred percent truth. And if you doubt that, that means you don't fully understand the Bible. Because if you're caught up here in this flesh, you're always going to doubt. But when you understand what we're coming into, you don't doubt. There's power in what we're saying. There's power in what we have received. All right. Now uh, go back. That's pretty much it. This is John chapter 17, verse... Uh, so you're going to read that. This is what Yahweh Shah is basically expressing what we just read. Right. I gave them the words. Read that part again. Come, come. This is uh, back in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 3, verse 7. Yep. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Right. For I give it unto them the word which thou gavest me. Mm. And they have received them and have known surely... That I came out of thee. And they have believed that thou didn't send me. Mm. He said, surely. I'm like, man, this is this yeah. is real special. Yeah. Verse 9, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine. And all mine are thine. And thine are mine. And I am glorified in them. See, see that's the body. That's the body right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the church. You know, that's the, church. the firstborn church, man. All right. Yeah. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Mm. Not he didn't pray for all Israel. He's praying right. for them. Mm. All right. As we keep going. Come. Verse 11. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. Now what does it mean he's no more in the world? He he was there at that time, but look, he was getting ready after he he, you know, died, you know, but rose from the dead, conquered death. Abide at 40 days and 40 nights, he eventually went back on high. He wouldn't be amongst them anymore. Mm -hmm. So he's praying for them amongst the, in their walk while he isn't there in the physical sense. Go ahead. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I came to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those who thou have given me, that they may be one as we are one. All right, keep them. Keep through your name. 
All right, go ahead. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in that name. Right, I kept them on point. While I was with them, you know, he would rebuke them at times. He he, he opened up their understanding. He was he was a he was a shepherd, the great shepherd, right? Right. And, and again, he keeps saying the name, like the reputation follows that he poured into them. Yeah. In those intents, bro. Right, right, right. It says, "Those that gave us me, I have kept." So like, I'm sorry. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost. None of them are lost. Go ahead. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. The son of perdition. And that's speaking of Judas Iscariot. Mm -hmm. So none of them are lost, save that 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 spirit of uh, rebellion. All right. Which to this day, that lot, you know, amongst Israel, you have those who come amongst the church mm -hmm. and may, you know, for a while obtain, but then their 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 belly takes over, mm -hmm. and it takes them out of the spirit, and they fall out. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 13, And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they have known, that, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Mm -hmm. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Are not we getting ready to go through that on a high level That's right. right now? That's right. We getting ready to be hated. Mm -hmm. Like on a level you've never had to go through. All right? But fear not. Okay? We're good. This is what we have to go through. Mm -hmm. He did his job. This is why most don't want to follow Yahweh Shah because it's a very, very, all of that thug passion shit niggas are boasting in. They were the true heart, the, the true man was Yahweh Shah. Hell, he wanted Rome, he wanted to, to uh, Babylon to already be. Destroy it, but he had to go through what he had to go through first because right. he was obedient. Well, we have to do the same thing. That's why we follow in his stead. Okay, but he's praying for us in our walk. Go ahead. It says, I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world. Mm -hmm. Even I, even as I am not of the world. So as you preach this message, it's not of this world. Even right. the people who say they believe in the most high. The God of this world governs how they believe. Mm -hmm. So they're off. Okay, but the way you believe it, you have more of an intimate relationship in understanding the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Understanding what the Bible is actually talking about, the secrets, going into the Hebrew and the Greek. So your message is not going to be received of Jake. Jake is going to be like, what? Nigga, get out of here. Right. Okay, uh, 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 even outside of Israel, the ones who don't believe, Okay, in the whole world, period. They're against what we believe in. That's right. Okay, it's on a whole nother frequency, it's on a whole nother level than anything they've ever heard or believed. Yep, yep. That's why Yahweh Shai said, ye are from the beneath, I am from above. Oh, right, right, right. You know, part of that is that, that wisdom that he was equipped with that the world could not receive. Man, right. Which sounds foolish. Right. Which sounds foolish today. Right, right. Go ahead. This is John chapter 17, verse 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Right. Don't take them out. Hey, but keep them from evil while they're in this world preaching your message through me, which is against, because what does it say? Good is set against evil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, 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 you're seeing that playing out now. Here it is. Right. You got Esau doing all of this evil. And here it is. We're here to rebuke it. And, 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 and we're like, it's David versus Goliath. So we're in the threat of imminent death. Like literally, they could just cut us off. They could do what they if, 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 if the Lord gave them the spirit, okay, or the go ahead. But he he hasn't yet, right? Now they're gonna come eventually, and the standard is gonna come. But they're gonna grab some of us up to give them a testimony before miracles worked, okay? But we're sitting here to preach his message in a world that is against his message. This is basically the serpent versus Adam all over again. In this time. Okay, Adam is going to deliver Eve. Okay, and she's going to remain faithful. Okay, that virgin. Go ahead. Quick one. Revelation 3 and 10. Because I has kept the word of my patience. Right. With Yahweh Shah was praying that they would keep. Right. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right. Which, thou, which shall come upon all the world to try them that are upon the earth. Right. He's talking about some major right there, man. This is back in uh, John chapter 17, verse 15. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, 
the Beth El Shiva is keep them from the evil. Mm. And where evil goes into bad times. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get real crucial out here. But, hey, there was a prayer that was put out for you that those that he prayed for were going to be watched by the angels right. and protected out of these crucial times that's to come right. because they kept the word of the testimony. Right. This is John 17 and 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Right. Sanctify them through thy truth. Who Friends, through the truth. Baptism. Baptism. And that's the baptism that the, the Levitical priesthood couldn't give to Israel. That that's baptism right. would have to come through your Hawashai, which he's the high priest. And he's acting as high priest right here. Right. right. When you really look at it, that's right. he's being an intercessor. Straight up. That's what he's doing. Okay, so imagine what he's doing in the heavens right now. <laughs> Crucial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's praying for us. Right. Okay, and then what's under the altar? Mm. The souls of those the, those who were beheaded for the word. Why? Because they're the first fruits. That body is in the heavens too. Crucial. Calling on us so that we can all return back to one. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. There's a lot of activity going on in the heavens. In the heavens. Literally, man, when you read Revelation, we ain't got to get it. Revelation 16, it says, and I saw under the altar the souls that were beheaded. And we know there's, there's a, a, a tabernacle in the heavens. Right. But what's at the tabernacle? The altar. Mm -hmm. Under the altar in the heavens is the souls of the elect. Those, those who were given this word from the foundation of the earth. Under that altar. Because why? They were chosen, even in the heavens, they're set apart. They're chosen for a specific purpose. Within the Lord's story on earth. Man, that's even fulfilling the law of the blood on the altar when the lamb was slain. There you go. The blood was supposed to be put at the bottom of the altar. Right. You got the souls of those that are actually in the heavens at the bottom of the altar. Right. That right. was slain. Right, right. Man. Right. And some of those are a part of the 144. That's right. Large mold, whatever, you know, however the Lord does it. All right. But 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 ultimately, there, once Yahweh Shah comes, we all gonna be linked back together. That's what this is all about. A great family union. Now it's happening on the earth. Okay, the remnant. But it's even greater than that. Once once everything comes together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. This is John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Right. Thy word is truth. See, that, that's the 100% truth right there. That's it. It's not of men. It's of ultimately the, 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 the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai. Right. They were ordained. To preach this word. That's right. Okay? As, as a matter of fact, real quick, let me get second address. You want to make a quick point. You can. Con, well, I was just having a thought, even going into that. When he says the word is truth, Yahweh Shai is the truth, he doesn't, there's no fraction to him, bro. So it's asinine for somebody to believe that somebody on the earth can't act 100% truth. If Yahweh Shai is the, the truth, somebody has possessed those names, if Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, bro. Mm -hmm. That's 100% truth. Right. Just a thought, you know? Right. This is uh, 2nd Edges chapter 2 and 17. Fear not, thou mother of the children, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. For thy help will I send my servants, mm -hmm. Isaiah and Jeremiah, which they had already prophesied. Mm -hmm. So this is a symbolic of the prophet's period. That's right. After whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee 12 trees laden with diverse fruits, which is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, the, 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 this wisdom, this knowledge we've, we've gotten mm. will lead unto the kingdom coming. That's right. That's right. Our words are sanctified, okay, through the spirit, not of the flesh. That's right. Of course, the 144, the still, those that are on the earth, they, they go off. Mm -hmm. they're in, but ultimately, they're perfect. Mm -hmm. They're blameless and no gal is found in their mouth. That's what 100% truth means. Right. Now you may say, how do you know you those men? Well, we don't know, but the scriptures say, put therefore on the elect. That's it. So it's a mindset. Yep. You have to, the, the, the salvation starts in the mind of the elect mm -hmm. who, who, who have the name of Yahweh written in their foreheads. How do we get that? Through Yahweh Shai. Okay, which makes us unstoppable. Okay, go ahead. John 17 and 18. As thou hast sent me, into the world, even so, I also sent them into the world. Right. He had to come into the earth, you know, in this, in this flesh. All right. And he was a slave in the Roman Empire. Right. <laughs> the, the top spirit on the right hand side mm -hmm. had to come onto the earth and be a slave in his own creation. Right. Same thing with us. 
That's why we have such an opinion about how it's being ran. Because in the beginning, the Allah Hayyam set all of this thing, these things forth under the most most high Yahweh Shah being the head of that. We set everything up for eat for paradise. Now we have to see all of these things being misused, man. Well, it's a part of our punishment. All right, so that we can understand the importance of what? Obedience. Go ahead. John 17 and 19. And for their sakes, for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they might be sanctified through the truth. Woo! He went through that, man. Yeah. He went through that. that man, did you, man, bleeding blood, sweating blood, just <laughs> lied on, sped on. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Right, because you have particular of the large most those who weren't given to lot the lot to preach, which you should covet to prophesy, you know, but we understand that's not everybody's lot. Then you have the sisters, you know, who, who are sincere that ain't like the rest of these proud ass Israelite women. You know? Well, you know, I know sometimes they think, well, what are we gonna get? Well, Yahweh is praying for you too. That's right. And you have to understand, under the 144, under Yahawashai and the 144, all the, the, we have the whole world and then the galaxies to, to play with. Right. But we're going to get this right. You know, I focus the, the earth more than anything. The planets and everything else, we'll deal with that once we get those new bodies. But the earth, okay, we're going to get this thing back right. And particular of you, uh, uh, a large multitude, right under this particular 144, you're going to be given high portions, man. This family, hey, we share here. Hey, Yahweh is sharing the whole world. So do you realize how vast and big this world is? Do you realize if you're a wife of one of the 144,000, one of the wives, because we will have multiple wives, do you realize how happy you will be, how good you will be? Do, do you realize it was a blessing to bring forth children amongst the Israel in the ancient days? Do you realize how happy Mary was to know she was blessed to, to be the vessel chosen to, to lay with uh, Joseph and bring forth that seed. Those things were highly sought after. Well, we're going to re return to glory. So we have a whole hell of a lot to look forward to under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 40. He that receiveth you receiveth me. Right. And he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Uh -huh. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Right. You receive a prophet in the name of a prophet. Even your prayers. Praying for the men of the Lord. Sending uh, alms or doing whatever you can. Okay. Hey, the Lord sees that. Right. And a lot of you women don't really understand. You probably follow Yahweh when he was on the earth as well. Because right. remember, you had women crying after him. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Right. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, right. only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. You're going to get a reward. Now, this is the most high through you. How much shall I give you? You ain't right. getting a reward from Peggy at work. Straight up. This is a serious reward. So get out of that spirit. Oh, am I going to be? No, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. <laughs> you're going to be good. On a whole nother level happy. That's right. So get out of there. Well, what about us? Now, the 144, yes, they, they right. under Yahweh Shah, they're going to have the fattest portions. That's it. But That's it. we got the whole earth. Real talk. Just as Yahweh Shah shared, we're going to share. Y'all going to be good. <laughs> Lord willing, even if I'm a part of the large multitude, Lord willing, whatever, look. We are we gonna be happy. Well, I'm an Israelite. Yeah. Now read that part of that last one you read again. Oh, read it again. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. John 17. Um, this is John 17, verse 20. Here, listen. Read this again, because when he's praying for his direct followers, okay, the 12 at that time, uh, then the other ones, but the 144. Go ahead. Neither pray out for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So he's praying for you too. If you listening to the prophets and it's, it's, it's you know, causing you to, to repent, okay, and come back. What time is it? 3.45. Okay. Hey, you, you, he's praying for you too. Go ahead. Come. Verse 21. That they all may be one. Mm -hmm. As thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, 
that they also may be one in us. This cuts the Trinity. Yep. Does this mean that they are the most high? No. They agree in one. That's it. Okay. They have the, 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 for the purpose of this story, the Heavenly Father set them up to be in a particular mindset and order so his job, his will can be done. Go That's ahead. Right. A high mind and righteousness. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. Go ahead. It says, these are that they all may be one, as thou father art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. That the world may believe, and every knee is going to bow That's it. at the end of the day. But it's through first we had to do this. So don't don't take your deal. You're not no regular clown, man. You right. if you receive these words, man. Yeah, you, you high level. Man. You high level, man. In a humble fashion. In a humble fashion. The, the scriptures say the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. That's right. <laughs> we had to, Yahweh had to do what he had to do, but we had to do as well what we had to do. That's right. That's why we're going to get crowns on our heads. Lord willing, we're of that number. Go ahead. Verse 22. In the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Mm. He shared that glory. Mm -hmm. Hey, because when you read uh, real quick Revelation 2, let me show you, uh, give you a quick example of that. <laughs> Revelation 2 and uh, 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Okay? Because he gave us a portion of that glory through getting this word, but there's more. <laughs> All right? This only that this only down payment. This is yeah. the earnest of our expectations. Right, right, this is right. a payment. Right. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, mm -hmm. okay? And he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. Ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. That's it. That's well, it. we're joint heirs in that as well. That's right. <laughs> Come on, man. It says, uh, and I will give him the morning star, which is ultimately that new covenant where that light will be in us now. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's right. That's right. This is um, the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's a very high honor. <sighs> to me, this is only the God of heaven and earth we're talking about. Right. You know, but these are, again, like the Zaquam was going into us being those joint heirs. Right. He's going into the, the, the high amount of love that the Lord had is that we have been titled this. Mm -hmm. You know? It's and in the kingdom, where you will be worshipped, you yep. will be reverenced. That's right. In that, in your order, mm -hmm. okay. All Israel, period. At the end of the day, the other, the, all of the heathen, but even amongst Israel, there's going to be. We're going to go back to that royal, ancient That's king, right. you know, way of handling things and being in mm -hmm. order and, and, and reverence and respect for one's ranks. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Facts. Back in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Right. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Mm. The world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Beloved, now, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear where we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. It don't appear where we shall be, but when he come... We're going to be just like him. Now, he said, return me to the glory I had with you from the beginning. Right. We're going to get that glory, too. Go ahead. For we shall see him as he is. As he is. His true essence, his true form, <laughs> that power. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. You can't even, uh, eyes have not seen. Right. All right. So we go ahead and finish off John 17. For sure. And hopefully it's edifying, you know. Go ahead. John 17 and 23. I am them and thou and me. That they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Mm. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. You see that? He prayed for us to get back to that heavenly estate, the heavenly church. Now, when we say on earth as it is in heaven, do you understand what you're saying? The throne of David, the tabernacle in the heavens is going to be established on earth. What is that? That's Shahawashai in the 144. That's right. Okay, and under them, you're going to have the large multitude. That's the governing, that's the government that's going to be set up, the first dominion. Mm. So he's praying for us to be brought back where he is. 
in that heavenly state. Go ahead. That they may behold my glory. That they were going to see him as he is. That's right. Go ahead. That's right, bro. Which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundations of the earth. Before the foundation of the earth. And then who would, didn't it say we were chosen before the foundation of the earth? That's right. So we're, see, Yahweh was fighting to get back in his heavenly right. rank and position. Okay? Right. This is what we're fighting for. We had to be humiliated, though. Yep. We had to go through the straight gate. Yep. And be obedient, you know? And in Proverbs 8, it said, I was before his daily delight. Mm -hmm. He said the love that he had from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? That's that's being those daily delights before before Yahweh, man. Yep. Yep. This is John chapter 17, verse 25. O righteous Father, the world does not know thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. Mm -hmm. And I have declared unto them thy name. And there's power in knowing that the most high sent him. Right. You know. Like, this ain't no earthly king who just came to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was the, the son of the most high in the flesh. So if you receive that and really understand that, there's an a order you should be in. There's a spirit you should be in. Mm -hmm. You Then you believe you can overcome death. Right. And that also shows you a lot of these guys that are out here that claim to be Israelites. You might have the name of your Yahweh Shai or Yahweh in your name. But there's a whole understanding behind those names. That's why you got guys in these camps going off. You want body of Yahweh talking about the miracles. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no miracles. You know, you're literally discrediting the name. You're discrediting that, man. You know, so this prayer can't apply to guys with that mindset. Yeah, that power ain't coming to you, to those yeah. type of guys. He says, I have declared thy name unto them. There's a whole understanding and dynamic of the omnipotency of the Father that comes with that, man. Yahweh Shai is that expression. So to denounce, to denounce that aspect of it, you you do not, you have not received the name. Right. You, got, you, you don't have that good energy. You got bad energy, fam. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Come, come. But I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it. That, <laughs> he says, and will declare it, that, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Mm. That's that's the heavy part about it, bro. Because again, that goes back to also Exodus twenty three, going into the angel. You know, he says Yahweh he will keep thee in the way, and then he says, "For my name is in him." Yahweh Shai literally declared the true essence of the Father unto us, man. You know, he was that he, when the scriptures talk about him being the expressed image. Right. This is everything that is going into. You know, and we've been when we've received that. That's why there's so much power that comes with it. To receive Yahweh Shah is, is power within itself. That's right, brother. That's right. So hopefully I will edify you. Any more points? Um, through the Spirit, uh, that was John the 17th chapter. Hopefully you all were edified. You uh, brothers and you sisters, man, we're going to give all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, And double honors to the apostles, the elders, that great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom. Shalom.